It's the 2023 Grand Slam decider. England against France. Jesse Tremoulier. This will be a really settling passage of play for France. And they've managed to get themselves a penalty advantage. They'll continue to play. But Tremoulier for the first points of the afternoon. Well, that was never really lined up right. Six. Use it. Scrum goes down, referee is keen for England just to use it, and it's heard. Roland, oh, and if she slips the shackles, Roland can be gone, and she's up to the halfway line. France will be wary of that threat, and now England can strike to the right, and McDonald with the options, and Dow, Abby Dow, streaking down the right side, Abby Dow to open the scoring for England. The execution is exceptional. What a finish, you know, this England team sometimes only needs one opportunity, they've had their backs against the wall. Up till now she had a 100% kicking record in the championship. It was the three out of three against Thailand last weekend, but uh, not quite able to slot the first. But England leading by five points to nil. Coming down for McDonald, who has killed on the inside. McDonald wants to just show off a bit of the footwork as she takes it into contact. Allcroft gets low, does well to get through Brosseau. And then Aitchison, it was a high-risk pass to Roland, and Vernier was waiting for it. Got the tackle in and has killed England's momentum. Byrne will do her best to restart it as Packer gets the call to the left. Kabea, more strong work from Sadia Kabea. Packer. Lucy to Marley and then to Aitchison and now Tatiana Hurd who strong in the 22 and then off for Marley Packer the skipper again who's looking to go over oh what a score from England power 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 and Marley Packer's ability to then just use the footwork know exactly where the weight of her body needs to be stepping back around from Ullier. conversion's been added by Helena Rowland England have only had 37% of the of possession. But this is England. Crouch. 12 points to the good. Over half an hour played. Point. And look at the last 10 minutes. England Six. are beginning to get their hands on this match. 75 to 25. It's another big shove. And the French pack just can't seem to cope at this stage with another penalty advantage. It's going to be the pick from the back. It's going to be another try for England. And it's Alex Matthews. No problem at all. You can. You see the power of the English scrum come here. They've all fought into it. And you can see they get the advantage. Alex Matthews' footwork to keep it in there. And the powerhouse that she is, unfortunately, Bourdon's not going to stop Alex Matthews from, from that far out. But... You just saw Alex as she got up. Just going to send it back to where it came. It's a super kick from Kildan Bourdon, though. They play it in field for Boulard. And Boulard has opted not to clear it. And he's just walked into the white wall known as Alex Matthews. And now England sensing they can drive through this breakdown and they have managed to get possession back and... It's relentless from the Red Roses. Fourth turnover that they've won, and it is setting them up for another score as Beckett goes five metres short. Aitchison looking at the other options as the speed comes in. The quick pick. Oh, has Lucy Packer got that down, or has she just lost it? She's oh, she has. The moment is spurned and lost by England. The physicality enough from France. It's just so hard to think in those split seconds. You see here that that 
line the uh, break by yeah. Sarah Becker there, there, and then here from Holly, the yeah, angle yeah, from yeah, Helena yeah, Rowland. Yeah. You just need a bit of patience here, you know. Yeah, there's English like players that. queuing up on that far side that sometimes you just need to think really clearly yeah, in that moment. Off. So the number three is clearly offside, making a tackle. So she's making her way. Yep. So never gets onside, then makes a tackle on the nine with the nine side of the score. So number three is clearly coming in from an offside position. She's made a tackle, taking her to ground, which means she can't reach the line. The ball is so close to the line that I think it would have been a probable try. So it's going to be yellow card against three, and it's a penalty try. Well, Audrey Fulani won't have enjoyed a single word of that. England release with Hurd. Aitchison, lovely long pass on the outside to find Kildan and Kildan then on the switch. Vernier brings down McDonald. Kildan in that at scrum half. Plays in for Matthews. Tacker gets back there. Aitchison, Kabea coming round the corner and happy to just bounce through. Oh, superb from England, making more metres than they arguably should be allowed to do. As Elme brings down Kildun. England forwards get there in number. Soft hands from Kabea. Davis. And they find the most enthusiastic member of the Can I Be no, a Winger 18. Club in Sarah Byrne. And then Beckett. It's lovely from Beckett back on the inside. And Zoe Allcroft shows superb finishing aplomb to wrap up a fifth try in the first half and France are being truly dispatched at Twickenham This is an absolute team try I know Sorry Olcock's got a name on the board but you know the carries that went into making this try you see the, the last one there from, from Sarah Beckett that show and go to, to beat a defender to Sorry Olcock you can see how much it means to, to Simon Middleton Gastro shot started the last six for France. Big game player needs to get the arrows right. More. Mane for look just on a ninth cap in contrast. Gets up and does the job. It's creeping ever so slightly forward, but it stopped momentarily. Bourdon then will have a look. Vernier dummies the pass that time. A powerful nuggety inside centre that she is. Then Brosseau coming round the corner, just had to tread water for a moment until the ball was available. But now France arrive with a bit more pace through Socha, and it might be available. Tremoulier a little wider for Boulard, who might get the chance to score at Twickenham, and she does. France are finally on the board after 48 minutes on the clock. Emily Boulard scores a sixth try. It's just patience from France here, from that driving more that got stifled. They just come round the corner, tightening England's defence up, and then Jessie Tremoulet's pass there to, to Boulard, and she had plenty of space out there to, to try and beat defenders. Here she catches it, she takes Ellie on the outside, comes back on the inside, and scores the try. It's the sort of play that it just felt like they were building to. Five, six, never on side. Into the tackle of Marley Pack as she goes. And then Menage all turned around and whipped it back. She knew who she was looking for, but where's Pauline Bourdon off to? She's going to need the support whenever she gets there. Oh, Bourdon, she's managed to find herself right the way round the chasing England pack. And Sadia Kabea needs to make sure she gets out of there. Bertumia. Bourdon, Roman Menage again into Carson. Tremoulier wanted it. There was a, a momentary shrug of the shoulders from Tremoulier as it wasn't exactly immediate when she wanted it. Crossfield kick found Elme, but she had to take her time because there was no one there. Oh, but that's a lovely little bit of awareness. France get in. And who is it? None other than Gabby Vernier. She is such an intelligent rugby player, whether it's defence or attack. She will no doubt be in the running for player of the championship, but that was picking the pocket of this England team. He scored against Scotland, Italy and Ireland as well. 
Had no right really to get away there, did she? No, it just comes from her instinct of play. You know, that cross field from Jessica Moulier here. Lucy Packer, first rule if you're in that position, which we call guard, is you don't move until the ball has been passed. She'll have nightmares about that to come. You know, you stick there and then so you can make that tackle on Vernier. Super line out take. England driving towards the line. Just slowed down a bit, but now they still get the go forward as it breaks up and the ball is down. Lark Davis was close enough to it. And we were almost missing the English catch and drive, Sarah Hunter. Yeah. It's the first time they've really gone to it, you know, the opportunity, and this is the thing about it. It's so clinical, it's so well driven by Lewis Deakin. You know, France have tried everything to, to stop it. You can see Poppy just squaring back up here to, to take that, that space there. And Lark Davis is where most hookers should be at the back of the mall to, to dot it down. Miss Gadura, the dummy run to the front. More. She's going to assist the leap of Falou. It brings it down for France. And I guess so shut as it tucked under the arm. France would love to get yeah. a little bit more change out of this England pack. Is there any room for them oh to rumble it round towards that ball. corner? They have turned it round nicely and they are still going forwards. And the ball is down. France get their third try. Wonderfully worked catch and drive. Saying to England, anything you can do. Yeah, that's a well-worked maul from, from France. You see England stay down to try and defend the defend it. Again, they stay patient, they look to square off, they keep their chest down, fighting, yes, rebuilding. You know, yes, we haven't seen a maul try from France yet in the Six Nations, so they were probably desperate to, to, to get this. Um, so just splinter England's time. defence there and, and get side. through to, to score, and there's nothing Lucy Packer or Marley yeah. Packer can do in that instance. Maul! One down. France have scored one more try already, but that time the ball goes to ground through the English defence, so they're going to have to get going once more. Kalfawik pirouettes out of one, but her foot was still held on to. Chambon looking back to the left side, and players coming forward, having to try and stay up, stay in the contest as England compete. Roman Menager still going forwards. Not beyond if France could spin it to the left. Dow is calling Red Roses defenders Whoa. over to that side. It's more time once more. France do have it to ground again. And they're looking for the try line. And they get there. It's another one for France. It's Emmeline Gros. I think he touched it down. France get themselves a fourth try. Yeah, France just worked really hard from um, from the mall. In. But England France. may have just breathed their heaviest breath because France, Five. for all the money, were building to another score there, which would have given us a grandstand finish in a last minute. But the clock will now tick down. France putting the pressure on again at the scrum, and they are going to get the penalty. I have to stop it. Arbez, quick tap. Philippon's looking for it, the offload for Chambon, then they play it away, they will get the try through Cyril Banet. Four seconds left on the clock though. So it's I likely to all be in vain. Because the flank had joined the front row, but you, your players have stood up. Okay, so the time has gone already. The referee advises the them that the time is already over. It's going to be disappointing news for the likes of Vernier and Tremoulier, but what about the effort? Yeah, it's that never say die attitude from, from France in this, this second half, um, that quick tap to go. Oh, in off the 
upright and the final whistle will go. When we talk about the amount of matches between these two and how tight so many of them finish, after 33-0 at half-time to England, it's finished within five once more.